Hello and welcome to the Pages and Pearls YouTube channel. My name is Hannah. I am a knitter and hopefully soon to be done. Grad student based in New York City, but I'm originally from Germany. And this video that I'm bringing to you today is a vlog that I filmed over the weekend. Um, on the past weekend, it was the Brooklyn Yarn Crawl. And I filmed a little bit to document it for myself, for you, if you're interested. So yeah, without further ado, I'll just forward you into the video. Hello, everyone. Lacking a better moment to do this in at home. I have to do it while I'm going. So this weekend is the Brooklyn Yarn Crawl and I am excited for that. It means that lots of yarn shops uh, participate and they have, I don't know, like trunk shows and special events happening and discounts and all sorts of things. I've never been to a yarn crumb before, so it's going to be new for me. And today is Friday and although there's not, um, no, the actual event isn't happening yet, there is a sort of pre-event with one of the shops, Cleo's Yarn Shop, that I'm heading to today, um, where also an indie dyer is opening her doors to the wandering flock and yeah that all happens in one area so that's where i'm heading now um i'm going together with madison from the madison monty's youtube channel and yeah we're going there together check out what's going on and i'm looking forward to it and i hope to take you along this weekend um so that you get a bit of an insight into this yarn crawl let's see what's gonna go on horribly but yesterday evening was really nice we ended up going to this pre-event as i said also in the video clip before um, that included uh, cleo's yarn shop a visit to the wandering flock and in the evening everyone kind of came together in a nearby bar that was participating for drinks and um, some communal knitting and just chatting and that was really nice to see all of these different knitters to meet new people and hang out with people that are crazy about fibers as well so that was really cool a really nice end to the week start to the weekend um and yeah it was really nice also to see a yarn dyeing studio i've never seen that before so it was cool to see i mean obviously usually <laughs> from me as a knitter and as a consumer of like indie yarn for example I only ever really see the finished product in the online shop, maybe here and there a little bit in Instagram stories or so, but it's cool to see it in real life and to get all the other like sensory experiences as well, right? Like that you smell, that it really smells like wool um, and you see the organization system and everything. So that was really interesting. Um, and just everyone was super lovely. That's I think that's what made the whole event yesterday so heartwarming and wholesome that uh, people were just really nice so I did end up um, purchasing a few small things so at the wandering flock they also you could um, shop some like one-of-a-kind skeins 
and some of their regular stock and while they had these super cute um, gauge swatches and mini sweaters to sort of see the yarn how it looks like knit up uh, I wrote down quite some yarns that I would like to maybe order at some point but the very specific ones that I could see myself knitting with right now they didn't have in stock so I didn't end up buying any of those but they did have mm, some one-of-a-kind mini skeins which I ended up buying two of because I thought these were really cute um, they don't have a label but I think that's kind of their alpaca um, merino mix so I'm gonna put these like maybe separate a bit to the camera so I believe the mix is, I don't know which percentage is exactly, maybe like 50% superwash merino, 30% uh, baby alpaca, and then 20% nylon, and it's a fingering weight yarn. Uh, I, and I think that's, that's this kind. So I have one that is sort of neutral, like uh, colored, but then has these fun specks of pink and other colors. And the other one is more of a yeah color gradient sort of like soft pastel gradient that looks really pretty i think they have also one colorway called rainbow sherbet that this reminds me a little bit of but uh yeah it looks it looks still a bit different so these are the two mini skeins that i got there um sort of as a memory of visiting and i think yeah it would be nice to make maybe contrast um cuff or something for socks with this or use this in stri like small stripes in a sweater um, but I'm thinking it's probably gonna go towards socks if I have like a main color that is a bit yeah more colorful a bit stronger in contrast and then have this as the cuff or as some stripes around it could be really cool and then afterwards we went to Clio's uh, yarn studio that is or yarn shop I think it's one of the newest yarn shops here in New York and um, they had like a happy hour knit night kind of thing going on but you could also just walk around it's a really cozy place with super nice yarns and I got uh, two skeins of yarn there so at the moment I'm I mean yeah at the moment I'm mainly looking for fibers that are summer yeah combinations of kind of like summer yarns I am currently finishing a top in 100% uh, cotton yarn in a worsted weight that I'm not loving the feel of because it's a kind of thick cotton which I don't think maybe is not the best for summer. Um, but I also want to knit up some sleeveless tops or like close to skin t-shirts and with the humidity here and the heat I just don't see myself wearing t-shirts in 100% merino or, or Maybe a few t-shirts, yes, but I don't want to knit up a bunch and then realize that it's a bit uncomfortable and like too close to skin and too warm to wear them. So that's why I'm looking for summer fibers at the moment. And it's kind of a nice way for me also to keep myself in check a bit during this yarn crawl. Obviously, if I see a nice wooly fiber that I really want to work with, I'm not going to hold myself back. But overall, my filter, let's say, when looking through yarns is interesting summer fibers in colors that fit with a lot of um, yeah, summer items that I already have in my wardrobe. So all of this to say, um, I got this yarn. I already got it wound up because I didn't feel like like doing that um, at home by myself. I got two cakes. Here we go. And this is a Noro yarn. I have eyed Noro yarns for a while. Yeah, it came with this label, which is very pretty, I think. And um, it's Noro... Yeah, yeah the actual label, Noro Sonata, and it's a um, fingering weight, um, 360 meters per 100 grams, with 35% uh, cotton, 25% viscose, 20% silk, and 20% polyamide, and the colorway is cat mint, and it, I think it has a little bit of thick and thin variation, but I quite like it, and I just love the... Um, the dimension of the colors in this and I love that it's like a lavender but like a really cool toned lavender um, and given that I mostly wear 
yeah, I have like denim shorts, but also some dark green skirts or like linen shorts. I think this color combines quite well with it, um, with this sort of more neutral leaning green. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to make something with this. At the moment, I'm either thinking the Uptown Tea by Tori Yu, uh, who is Tori Knits NYC on Instagram, that has just come out today. I think this yarn would fit very well for that. It's this super beautiful raglan, but with a kind of like lace detailing on the sleeves and cap sleeves that looks very pretty. And I think it would be cool to sort of combine something that I bought at the Brooklyn Yarn Crawl with a designer based in New York. That could be cool. And I also just like how sort of classic that uh, t-shirt looks. And yeah, to me, it seems like it's very easily combined. And the other um, pattern that I'm thinking of alternatively is the Oolong Top, Oolong Tank by Amy Scher which is a yeah, tank top with really beautiful lace detailing on the front. Although I'm not sure, I really like the look of it, but I'm not 100% sure how much I would like wearing that since it's quite yeah, open at the front. I think it, like, it could go both ways. It could be really cool and I discover that I like wearing things like that, but it could also end up not being a favorite. Um, but I would kind of like to try it as well. So I'm, that's why I'm a bit undecided right now. But I'm thinking one of the two with this yarn. Um, and I think that's about it. It came in this really cute bag. Really small, <laughs> cute bag of Cleo's. And yeah, that was, that was day one. I, at the happy hour afterwards in the bar, I started knitting on my tiny scarf, which is coming. Uh, I have a project vlog coming about this. Either it's already out before this video or coming after, I'm not sure yet. Um, I started, or I continued knitting on it, but my yarn got super tangled because uh, I was pulling from the center. So I basically just spent most of the evening trying to untangle the yarn and rewind it into a ball. And I had some lovely people around me cheering me on because it took me ages to do that. Um, yeah, so that was yesterday night. It was really nice. Tomorrow I'm going to go to some more yarn shops for the actual yarn crawl together with Medicine. And uh, today I think I'll just, yeah, stay mostly cozy at home. Maybe I'll go to a coffee place later. But before I do all of that, I just want to sit down on the couch, watch some YouTube podcasts and uh, get some knitting done. Maybe knit a bit on my sock or bind off the t-shirt, the cotton t-shirt that I'm not loving at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. And I'll check with it, in with you later. <laughs>
morning. It is Sunday and I am now on my way to Brooklyn. It's raining still, so it's not very cozy, but well, it's okay. I'm gonna be most of the day inside anyways. And for an hour on the subway now, so well, I'll take you guys along. Um, and I'm looking forward to all things yarn goodies. It is Tuesday today and the weekend is already over, but I quickly wanted to wrap up this vlog. The ice cream man has just pulled up outside the school that is near my house, so I hope you cannot hear the melody too loudly or that it doesn't distract you. But yeah, so on Friday, Sunday, Friday, I already talked about Friday. So on Sunday, um, I had a really lovely day at the yarn crawl. Uh, apart from the rain which was crazy and at some point it got so strong that I didn't even want to film especially outside anymore so the last stop where we went uh, was the Argyle, Argyle yarn shop near Prospect Park and when we arrived there it was raining in such a way that I yeah did not want to pull my phone out uh, but that was that was the one of the shops that was also new to me and it was uh, really nice to go there they have their own hand dyed yarn that the brand is called Luminous Brooklyn uh, and there were so many lovely shades of that and overall the yarn uh, selection was also quite cool. Before that we went to Brooklyn General which is I would say my favorite yarn shop in the city at the moment and uh, there was a trunk show going on of Emyak uh, company that sells mostly like yak or yak blend yarns and the day before there had been a trunk show of sea change fibers which they carry in the shop usually also and i've very often it happens that i stand in front of this great like giant wall that they have of all the yarns and it end up ends up being sea change fibers like the yarn that i pull out so i haven't knit anything with their yarn yet but i think i definitely will because i just love their color choices and the blends are always super interesting um i don't know i don't think they have a lot of merino yarn which i find cool because they are also just other sheep breeds that they make the yarn from and yeah so that's that's one that i want to try out at some point but not now because as i said in the previous clip i was looking more for summer appropriate yarns um so yeah, I wanted to quickly show you what I got on Sunday. So at Brooklyn General, you might have already spotted it in the clip, I got some Knitting for Olive yarn, pure silk, and I got this uh, Knitting for Olive Dusty Artichoke. I got two balls of this uh, pure silk yarn because I want to make the Melidish, Melidish top by Inej Oliveira, who is very knit on Instagram. Uh, it's this beautiful cropped summer top that has a sort of like round neck option on one side and a v-neck option on the other side so it's sort of reversible and I just love the look of this and uh, it suggests to use knitting for olive and I thought this color would be perfect for it so I picked that up and then because I also want to make the Babru top by Knitting for Olive. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, it's it's a lace um, a lace top that looks really cool. I think the pattern so far is only out in German, which is lucky for me because 
I understand that. Um, so I got three balls of yarn for that, uh, so 150 grams, and that's knitting for all of pure silk in ice blue. So that's what I'm gonna be making with this. And then along with that, I also got a 2.5 millimeter circular needle because my interchangeable set only goes down to three millimeters which is us I, I always mess up the size i guess it's us 2.5 that my interchangeable set goes down to and this is a us 1.5 that i will also need for both tops actually for making the i-cord uh edge so that's what i got at uh brooklyn general there were a billion other yarns that i could have picked up but i yeah these were the ones that i'm most eager to cast on and that i need now for summer also so that's what i what i got and then in argyle in the argyle yarn shop i got one skein of sock yarn because i want to make my partner some socks and i was looking for a yarn that i think um where i think he would like the, the color combination so i got a skein of this hedgehog fibers yarn it's the colorway trail which i believe is exclusive to the argyle yarn shop so i also when i saw this i already <laughs> really liked the skein as, as it was but then i saw that they had it only at argyle i was even more interested in it um so i think it's a pretty lovely combination of pretty dark like chocolatey browns then some more beige uh, parts and then you also have these beautiful specks of color in like greens and yellows and oranges all throughout this um, skein so I am currently working on the color work socks that you're seeing me knitting in this video and it will still take me some time to get done with it because I'm only making I'm not only making one pair of it but two because two people want these um, but once i'm done <laughs> with that i will i will hopefully get to these unless maybe i get bored after the first pair of the um radish socks and want to change it up a little bit before getting into the second pair and then maybe i'll cast this on sooner who knows anyways and then the last thing that i got at argyle yarn shop is already in use and that was a small like a short um circular needle because i wanted to see if short circular needles would make sleeve knitting more enjoyable for me and it's already in use because so i'm knitting on this cumulus blouse by petite knit and i'm knitting on this together with Trulane chelsea from the Trulane knits podcast and i believe i've gotten to a length that i like but i haven't actually bound it off yet because there's an i-cord edge and that's going to take some time uh, but yeah, I've started knitting on one of the sleeves and these are the 16 inch needles that I'm using for that. I will probably have to change to magic loop at some point anyways, because you're decreasing on the sleeve as you go. And at some point it'll probably become too tight with the 16 inch that I have at the moment, but already getting me a head start on the sleeve and just doing a bit of magic loop, I think will help my sleeve knitting game. and ensure that I won't perish on Sleeve Island. Um, yeah, so those are all the acquisitions that I have. And I won't, oh, I think I won't go into them again in my next podcast episode because that's just twice the same thing. And I think that's also it. I had a lovely weekend at the Yarn Crawl. It was super nice to meet so many fiber and yarn enthusiasts squish all the yarns and also to just hang out with medicine and go to a cafe and knit and yeah it left me really recharged and energized and inspired to finish up project and cast on new projects so i think it was a full success and i hope that you also enjoyed this video i'm gonna wrap it up here there will be a podcast coming from me uh, soon i hope i also am preparing a video about a short introduction to audiobooks because I do listen to a lot of audiobooks as I knit and I thought it might be interesting for some of you guys who are maybe interested in getting into audiobooks and I'll also probably continue vlogging because I think that's the thing that I like the most as a format to create myself at the moment so 
I'm sure more of these will come up. If you want to be notified about all of these videos as they come out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and yeah, feel free to like or comment. Let me know if maybe you've ever been to a yarn crawl before and where that was and how you liked it. And I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye. -bye.